So because you are the expert voice on these bears, I like to fake like I'm one. <laughs> but I was too soft to play the game. You actually <laughs> played it, so I'm going to lean on you. How about these bears, man? 48 to 10 over the Buccaneers. Mm -hmm. You predicted 24 to 10, I believe. So you predicted a win. Yeah. But you couldn't have predicted this. Mitch Trubisky, six touchdowns. Is he finally arrived, or is this feasting off a lesser defense? I think he had the confidence he needed going forward. I think this was that one game. You know, some players, they need that one game to get their confidence going forward, and this was that game. You know, they have a dominant front seven, Tampa Bay, but their secondary was a little bit questionable. But this is the type of confidence builder yeah. game that he needed to go on forward. The Bears are now 3-1 and one in this NFC North. And nobody could have predicted this. Yes, Khalil Mack arrived, and his team had different expectations. But now you look at it, four games done. They've got a bye coming up here. Could this team be a playoff team, and could we actually be thinking, why not play for a Super Bowl this year? We definitely could. You know, obviously we'll see how the season goes on, but you talk about a dominant defense. They're similar to that 85 Bears defense. And Whoa. you talk about, hey, Whoa. And, and, it, and if you talk about if they get the offense rolling like they did on Sunday – I mean, hey, I think the sky is the limit for this team. Do you ever have a bad day, man? I feel like you're always positive. Are you ever going to be negative on anything with these Bears? I just want to know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be negative, but, I mean, the dude threw six touchdowns. I know. You're right. You Zero interceptions. You actually can't be negative yeah, about it. five different receivers are hit. I mean, come on. Give, show him some me. love, man. Yeah. Can, can you please? I'll give him some love. Just show him some love, man. Just please don't hit me, all right? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll listen, man. You're bigger than me. You're stronger than me. I'll give him love. You're right. Okay. He deserves it for this week. Something else we're going to give love to, and we're going to start doing more of this, because you talk X's and O's all the time, Corey. Yeah. You probably get bored of talking yeah. football. You're a stylish guy, almost as stylish as I am. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about some of these players, these players' performances off the gridiron, yeah. and let's take a look at some fashionably uh, forward football players. And right here, this Prince of Mukamura's Insta story showing off his fellow teammate, Josh Bellamy. Style. Bezo, look at him with the Gavenchi. Kavenshied out with the shoes. Shout the out nice, to Mike P. Mike yeah. P rocks those. A nice sweatshirt. Yeah, Mike P's got style, man. Look at him with the Kanye's <laughs> today, man. <Yeah. baby. laughs> you like the chain? Is it too gaudy or is, he, is, it, is I like, this fit? I like the chain. I like the belt. I mean, he's a stylish guy. I've seen Bellamy in his Instagram stories. I mean, he, he really shows out. I like the collar pop. I could maybe get down with that outfit. I think it trends a little too young for me. Yeah, yeah. But I'll give, it a, I'll give it a pass. All right, Donovan Smith, the offensive lineman for the Buccaneers. Ooh. Hey, I like a big fella in a hey, suit, a three-piece. Hey. A nice red suit. You know, he was really fire, but the Bears extinguished that fire. Hot <laughs> Sunday, baby. <laughs> I don't know. The pants, are they too small, Corey? They That's look the, a it's, little It's the tight. European cut. Okay. He said big big dudes can dress too. We can wear a little bit of tight stuff. So we can do that. We can do that. Felicia, you hear that? We can, we we can, can do, do that. that. We can yeah. do that. Yeah. Okay, just give me some confidence. Yeah. I try to do that one. <laughs> All right, Russell Wilson, everybody knows him. That's Sierra, significant other, also the quarterback, yep. the Seattle Seahawks. So his style's got a lot better since he's been with Sierra before. He kind of dressed a little bit lame, but yeah. now, you know. He was like a square, yeah, and she's yeah. got to give him but an edge. But look at him now, you know, the nice gray suit. He doesn't put the tie on. The button. air tie. I never yeah. know if he can do that or not. So You can I'm, do that. I've done it before. You can do it, like, too. Can I do it? Hold these real quick. Yeah, can, I, can I maybe do it with this? Yeah. It might be a little snug right here. There you go. You Russell, See, you're I'm a taller really Russell Wilson. He's a taller Russell Wilson right here. What are you guys saying? <laughs> I don't know, man. I always feel uncomfortable about this. Yeah, no, I, I like it though. It. So, a little casual. Krista, is this a good look? I like it. I'm all right, in. there you go. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna keep this one. My neck ain't really breathing. I probably need a bigger shirt. But all right, to Ron Matthew, Texas, uh, Texans defensive back. I like this look a lot. I love it. I love it. I love how he doesn't wear socks with it. Sometimes you gotta not wear the socks with it. Adds to the look, baby. I love it. See, so he's go he is going no socks. That used to be like frowned upon back yep, in the day. Now, now that's style. like the thing. Now it's style. You man. got you went I socks, got socks today. today. Last week you didn't go no, socks. No, I didn't. I had the loafers though. Yeah, yeah. see, I kinda like that. I yeah. was I was talking about going barefoot for my wedding. So I like doing the barefoot with Don't the go shoe. barefoot, man. I hear your feet smell, bro. <laughs> You heard it, and you smelled it, probably. All right, last one here, Alan Hearns, Cowboys ride receiver. Ah, too much, man. Really? What? I love this. Corey, I come love on, this. man. That's nice too much. bow tie, the chain around it. Man, this boy I don't like the pocket out. squares a little too – it's too much gold. Nah, I think, he, I think it's swaggy, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, okay, we'll give you that one. So before I let you go here, it, the reason why we're talking about this, and I think if you rewound about five years ago, yeah. athletes talking about fashion be like, Literally, stay in your lane, just play the sport. Why do you think it's evolved so much where athletes care so much about what they look like in the pre- and post-game so much? Yeah. Well, I think it's all about social media, right? People are documented. They take the pictures before the games and after the games, and they want to be the most stylish person, especially football players, you know, because they have the helmets on. They want people to know who they are. I got you. All yeah. right, hey, Krista, can you come over here real quick? Snap one picture. I want you to post this on Instagram uh, at the Jam TV show, and I want to decide yeah. – 
Who here is more stylish? Okay. I'm rocking the air tie. Okay. I got the suit on. Okay. Corey, you're killing it. Krista's here. She's taking a picture right now. Ready? You guys go and vote. Three, two, one. All right. There it Instagram. is. Social media. That's how it goes. You're talking yeah. about the social media. Yep, let's we'll see. see. Corey Wooten, Jordan Cordette, who's better dressed?